What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here at Atwater Village in front of Foster's Freeze, where in 1946, George Foster wanted to get in the milkshake business, decided to buy the rights to Dairy Queen, but could not use the name Dairy in California. So he settled on Foster's Old Fashioned Freeze. Let's get into the history of that and some other facts of LA's Milkshake King. After World War II, the newly minted veteran George Foster was searching for a good business opportunity. He bought the development rights for Dairy Queen for the entire state of California. Dairy Queen at the time was outrageously popular. It had 1,500 locations, mostly in the Midwest, and the opportunity to bring soft serve to sun-drenched California was tantalizing. Foster's plan was to open a number of franchises in the state. The problem was that California's dairy industry had strict rules regarding the use of the word dairy. Moo. When they did these butterfat tests, the problem was that Foster's product was ice milk and that it did not have a high enough percentage of butterfat to use the word dairy. The product was delicious and the solution was simple. He changed the name to Foster's Old Fashioned Freeze. He opened the first location in Inglewood and they sold soft serve ice milk, sundaes, and milkshakes. The soft serve was a natural fit for California and Foster's franchises expanded rapidly. They soon added hamburgers, hot dogs, and other items to the menu. They even rolled out these little soft serve ice cream trucks to help expand the name and the business around the neighborhoods of Southern California. Foster had an eye for architecture as well, as most locations had clean lines, sky blue roofs, walk up windows, and the Foster's Freeze neon sign that could be seen from freeway off ramps for the burgeoning car culture. Foster's was able to expand rapidly through their aggressive franchising spearheaded by a successful ad campaign. Favorite dessert of famous families, starring celebrities of the time, such as athlete Tom Harmon and entertainer Harpo Marx. By 1951, Foster's already had 360 locations. That same year, only six years after founding Foster's Old Fashioned Freeze, he sold control of the franchises for the tidy sum of $1 million to the Mayenberg Milk Products Company, at the time known for an early foray into goat milk. California was the perfect place for Foster's Old Fashioned Freeze and not just because of the weather. It was the place where car was king and their locations were perfect for teens to show off their cars. The Hawthorne location was close to the childhood home of the Wilsons of the Beach Boys who sang about Foster's Freeze in the 1963 hit Fun Fun Fun. The market shifted and competition was fierce and by the mid-1980s Foster's was sold to an investment group called Slowback. At the time, 60% of Foster's sales was from food and only 40% from sweets. Slowback began phasing out old restaurants and updating the new look and menu. In 1994, El Pollo Loco signed an agreement to carry Foster's Freeze in 163 locations which boosted sales. Today, only 66 locations remain but it's still one of the best places to get soft serve or a milkshake. Just don't call it dairy. All right, L.A., it's been a minute.